everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a product review and a try on of some Bare Minerals products. I'm going to try the new Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation. I'm a massive fan of Bare Minerals so I've got high hopes for this. So if you're interested in watching this video please give it a thumbs up, stick around and we'll get right into it. So the first product I'm going to use on my face is the primer which is the Prime Time. I'm going to put a dollop of this on the face. I'll just put this in the areas that I've got any dry patches. <laughs> just sprayed it everywhere. And it's like a like a silicone type texture. It's really good for filling pores in, which you definitely need if you're using a powder, a powder foundation. If you've got a, a lot of pores, a lot of wrinkles, a lot of dry skin, powder foundation is not forgiving. So you need to make sure that you're really well hydrated in your skin, you've moisturised, you've exfoliated. Just to give the foundation the best, the best try that you can give it. So once that's worked into your skin, you can go straight into either your concealer, powder foundation. I'm just going to go straight into the Bare Pro powder foundation. And the colour I'm using is Dawn 02. And I use the same one in the liquid version of this one. They are true to the shade range, the Bear Pro range. So I'm going to use this with a brush. It does come with a little, like a little sponge underneath. But I'm definitely not going to use that. I'm just going to use one of their Bare Minerals tapered face brush. I'm just going to dip into the pan and swirl a few times so I've got about that much on the brush and just work that into the areas that I want the foundation to go. This feels really smooth on my skin. I've got quite a few blemishes at the minute so this is a really good time for me to test this foundation. See if we actually get any coverage out of it. And I have seen other reviews on this one. Some are good, some are bad. So I just thought I'd give it a try myself. I really like the original foundation. That was probably one of my first foundations that I really stuck to using. And was ride or die with that one really. With having problematic skin, I found that it didn't break me out at all. But like I said, you have to keep on top of your skin, skin routine to make sure your skin's in peak condition. I think you can already see the difference just on that light. In fact I'm going to try the little sponge. It's just like an everyday type makeup sponge, nothing, nothing different. So I'm just going to dip into the product. I'm going to tear that on my forehead or forehead or five head whatever <laughs> it looks chunky you see it there so I'm not going to use that I'm just going to buff it out with it. the brush I think the Bare Minerals brushes are really good they're really dense and they're um, good for packing on I'll do half of my face and then we can see um, a comparison to the other side of my face just with the foundation I used to use the um, so I got the original first and I went on to the ready foundation that was horrible I that's the only foundation by Bare Minerals that I found that I hated it really accentuated all my pores it's just a bad formulation I think they replaced it with this one so I think they obviously realized themselves it wasn't a good product that's quite hard for me to say because I literally love everything about Bare Minerals. I've got like probably 50 of their eyeshadows, God knows how many lipsticks and lip glosses by them. I could actually do a full face Bare Minerals. So if you're interested in watching that video, please comment down below and I'll do that. It is covering my blemish quite well. It is making it a little shiny. But 
it's not accentuating. Get the old crust <laughs> out of my eyes. Now the thing with bare minerals or any powder foundation, the more you work it into the skin, the more it works with the oils of your own, of your natural skin oils, and it will give you the the look of perfected skin. But it looks like you're not wearing any foundation, or you can't tell that you're wearing any foundation. It just makes your skin look amazing. And as you can tell, it takes a lot longer to do powder foundation than it does just a liquid because you have got to work, you've got to spend that time working it into your skin. Which I don't mind if it gives you a good payoff. So that's half of my face done. I'll zoom you in so you can see. So this half of my face has got foundation on and this has got just the primer and the moisturiser. So I think you can see, it does give quite a bit of balance into the skin. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I think if you spent the time working on it and working it up. I'll do the other side so you can see as well. I'll keep you zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing close up. Now I just dip into the pan. I don't tap off with this one because it doesn't seem to be excess that you would get with the original foundation where you would dip in, you'd have to tap it off and then buff it into your skin. I've got a bit of dryness around my nose which I think you can, you can see a little bit. But it does give you a nice radiance to your skin. With it being a powder, although it is matte, it doesn't look horrendous, it doesn't look flat which I don't like. I don't, I'm not a massive fan of matte foundations anyway, just because I've got dry skin. I don't think it's a good look for dry skin anyway. It doesn't smell of anything anyway. Like all the other foundation, they don't have any scents, they don't have any perfumes or anything in them. It literally is just minerals, crushed minerals. Now I don't have any blemishes on this side of my face. Sorry my camera stopped recording so um, I'm just going to just go back into buffing that into my skin. So I was saying that I don't like matte foundations anyway. I just don't like how they sit on my skin. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying how this one looks. It's a lot quicker than the original foundation, I would say, to buff out onto your skin. Now what I would do, I would spend an extra five minutes buffing this into my skin. So I'll just keep buffing and I'll speed through it and then we'll come back to the next products. So this is the foundation all buffed into the skin and then um, it feels quite comfortable on the skin. I can tell I'm wearing it a tiny little bit. I think once it, the oils have worked into the powder foundation itself, I don't think it'll feel as tight. It's got like a tightening feeling to my skin. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to carry on doing the rest of my makeup just to see how it works. Now I use the, the Mineral Veil as like a setting powder on top. And the one I got recently is the Illuminating one. So that will give this one a try and see how it works together. And it's got like little shimmers to it, and you can see that. Where the original powder, it's like a yellowy undertone, even though it's meant to be translucent. I can definitely see it on my skin. That will give this one a try. It's got like a pinky undertone to it. So I'm just gonna do the same technique that you would do with the original. Swirl tap buff and just buff that into the skin, and it's definitely got shimmers to it. Now, 
of it. Mineral Oil is meant to give you that airbrushed finish to your skin. And I really enjoy the way it looks on my skin as well. Don't know if you can see that, it gives you like a, an ethereal look to your skin base. So I'm going to go on and use a bit of concealer underneath my eyes. And the one I'm going to use is the Well Rested. And it's this one. They just have one colour in the Well Rested. I'm going to use that on a light stroke brush, which is the one they recommend to use. So I'll just tap a little bit out into the... Is it going to focus? I just tap a little bit out into the pot, just dab it in there, tap the excess off and then just bring that underneath the eye and it just brings light back to the skin and I'll just bring that underneath Less is more with this product, I mean you can come out with the <laughs> big stripes underneath your eyes which is not a good look but this one definitely, definitely makes you look more awake, makes you look more well rested. I can struggle with, with liquid concealers underneath my eyes because I do have creasing underneath my eyes. This doesn't accentuate them at all and I've used this product for probably eight years. So it's a, a trusted product to me and I've probably had this one five years. I think the amount of product that you get in it. How much to get in this one? You get two grams. Two grams of loose product, which is going to last, last year. I've had it five years, so five years. <laughs> and then I'm going to use, I might as well stick to our bare minerals. I'm going to use the Be Beautiful palette. Just ignore all the finger marks and I'm going to use the contour shade out of this one and the bronzer I'm going to it's called the faux, faux tan matte and you can tell how much I like it because it's just about gone I'm going to take that on an eco tools brush and just give some more dimension back to my face and as, I'd, as you'd expect this is working well with all the products I'm putting on top like I'd be really disappointed if I used if I bought a Bare Minerals product and it didn't work well with another Bare Minerals product. That's not deep enough for me. So I'm just going to grab another contour shade. So I'm just going to deepen my contour and bronze up with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is another mineral powder. Is this one here? I'm just gonna just add that on top. Now these pair we uh, really well together. You can't even detect this on the skin. And then the last product I'm gonna use from Bare Minerals is their Invisible Glow. Now this has uh, been compared to the Hourglass Illuminating Powders and as you can tell, I love this product. I'm all but out of it. <laughs> I've probably got another week's use of it every day and this is another lit, within pro lit from within product and it just gives you that natural highlight to the, the whole of your face. I might as well use a blusher. I'll just use this blusher, which is the Inner Beauty from the same palette. And I will take that on. I'm going to use that on the same tapered face brush by Bare Mineral just because it fits in there nicely. I'm just going to pop a, a little bit of that on the apples on my cheeks.
And just for an added bit of radiance, I'm just going to take... So I'm going to take a little bit of the Milani Luminoso and just add that onto the tops of my cheeks just to give a little bit more radiance. And that is the base done. I've got to say I really enjoy it. I think it looks really nice. I would highly recommend it to anybody that likes powder foundation. I don't think you can beat Bare Minerals uh, when it comes to the powder foundation game. I know there are a lot of others out there but I've never found one that compares to this. Um, if you've got one that uh, you could recommend, I'd really like to try it. So if you leave a comment below, I'll um, I'll try it, I'll buy it and see what we think. I'm more than happy to do that, seeing as I'm a massive lover of any any product by Bare Minerals. So if you've got something that you think is a game changer, I will try it myself. What I do as well, I always set my powder foundation. I set it with a setting spray. I know a lot of people don't do that, but I just think it helps it melt it into the skin as well. So I'm going to take the Colourpop um, Crystal Priming Spray. I'm just going to spray this onto my face. And if there's any powderiness left on your skin, this definitely takes it away and locks it into your skin as well. So I'll zoom you in so you can see the finish of the foundation. It's really natural, it's really pretty. You can't really tell. It just, look, just, it just makes your skin look, look, it just makes your skin look a hundred times better. So you could wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. If you've got perfect skin, you could just use this you know, to buff on just before you go out. Wear it to the gym, wear it to work, wear it for whatever. I'd wear it any time of the day. And um, I tend to find that it lasts a lot longer than liquid foundation as well. It just locks into the skin. So I'm a, I have to say I'm a big fan of the Bear Pro. Is it gonna focus again? <laughs> I'm a massive fan of this from the from first impressions. I will keep trying it and as, as always I will let you know what I think. So if you've enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and if you want to stick around, subscribe and you can check out my videos that are still to come. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.